Leopardus gudulus. Leopardus gudulus, the southern tiger cat or southern tigrina, is a wild cat species native to Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. Taxonomy. Felis gutula was the scientific name used in 1872 by Hensel when he described a tiger cat from the jungles of the Rio Grande do Sul in southern Brazil. It was long considered to be a subspecies of the Oncilla leopardus digrinus. It was recognized as a distinct species in 2013. It is closely related to Jefois cat El Jeffroy, with which it reportedly interbreeds in southern Brazil. Characteristics The small neotropical cat has a yellowish oak gray coat patterned with open black rosettes. Physically, the southern tigrina can be distinguished from the one silla by its slightly darker background coloring, larger rosette pattern, and slightly shorter tail. However, it is extremely difficult to distinguish between the two species by appearance alone, since more genetic variation tends to occur within each species than between the two species. An adult southern tigrina weighs anywhere between 1.9 and 2.4 kilograms, 4.2 and 5.3 pounds. Distribution and habitat. The southern tigrina occurs from central to southern Brazil in Minas Gerais and Goiás states, in the Atlantic forest, eastern Paraguay and northeastern Argentina below elevations of 2,000 meters, 6,600 feet. The population is roughly estimated to comprise around 6,000 mature individuals. It inhabits dense tropical and subtropical rainforests, deciduous and mixed pine forests, open savannas, and beach vegetation. At the margins of its range, the southern tigrina interbreeds with Jeffois cats, El Jeffroy, but it does not appear to interbreed with the one silla population in northeastern Brazil, which in contrast has a history of interbreeding with El Colocolo. Because of habitat differentiation, interbreeding does not occur between one silla and southern tigrina. In contrast, hybridization and introgression occurs between southern tigrina and Jeffois cat at their contact zone in southern Brazil. Many southern tigrinas and Jeffreys cats are thought to be partial hybrids, because of the high level of interbreeding that is occurring. Behavior and Ecology The southern tigrina preys mostly on small mammals, birds and lizards. Average prey weighs less than 100 grams, 0.22 pounds, but also includes larger sized prey up to 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds. The southern tigrinia often inhabits the same habitat as the ocelot. In areas with a high ocelot concentration, the southern tigrina populations are smaller, due to competition. When ocelots are scarce, it allows for smaller cat species, such as the southern tigrina, to have better opportunities for shelters, food, and territory, which therefore allows for a larger population size and density of southern tigrina. This phenomenon is called the ocelot effect. In 2015, two juvenile southern tigrinas were recorded for the first time in the Atlantic forest while learning hunting skills and capturing a cavey. The mother plays an important role in teaching her cubs how to hunt and survive in the wild. Threats During the fur trade, the southern tigrina was heavily exploited. Today, the biggest threats of the southern tigrina include habitat loss and deforestation, hunting from local people, road kills, diseases spread from domestic dogs, and the use of rodent poisoning. Conservation The southern tigrina occurs in protected areas, but probably at low densities. Currently, a push is on to better understand the biodiversity, ecology, evolution, and genetics of the southern tigrina to orchestrate a more effective conservation strategy for the species. In addition, further research is being conducted to better understand the special differences between Oncilla and Southern Tigrina. Hunting is banned in Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay. Evolution A demographic expansion following the last glacial maximum, 20,000 years ago, is thought to have led to the allopatric speciation of the Southern Tigrina.